Hello, I'm Ian Harding from Pretty Little Liars. Stay tuned to find out what he finds romantic, racy, and just plain wrong. Which is a lot. I like your little, the, the, the turn up of the jacket. Oh, this is just because it's actually winter outside right <laughs> it's now. It's really rainy and cold out to today. Usual sandals and whatnot. Will you, will you look dashing? Oh, that's very sweet of you. Thank you. So I have um, I have a couple of Twitter questions from your fans because we got a lot. Dude, did, did you really? Oh, that's so good. So first, Get Out Jackie wants to know, can he tell us something Get about- Get Out Jackie is I love name. her Twitter handle. Get, Get Out Jackie. Jackie. Get Out Jackie's right. going to love that you say her Twitter handle. Uh, it's going to be tough. Because uh -oh. trouble and trouble, trouble. I mean, I mean, paradise? if it's smooth sailing, that's going to be a boring sure. thing to watch. Or apparently not. People want to see us uh, be together. Um, certain secrets come out, and then we we adjust to those secrets or those no longer secrets, and we uh, see if we can make it. And then A throws several wrenches in our. Are you spokes. lying to me right now? No, no. I'm just trying to figure <laughs> out how to not get sued. Ezria. Fits forever, very dedicated Twitter handle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Would he rather be a a vampire on Vampire Diaries, a werewolf on Teen Wolf, or a zombie on The Walking Dead? Oh, zombie Walking Dead. Oh, that was yeah. quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I would love to just be the, you know, because the werewolves, <laughs> are kind, I, it's it's done. You know, you know, I think it'd be way more fun to just be a kind of catatonic. And, you know, I think that was your people. audition. I really hope somebody watching. was watching. And the same gal, Ezria Fitz Forever, wants to know, has Ian managed to get Lucy back for her punked? Oh, no, well, hmm. I think probably what I'll do is something that's a little bit more sadistic. And uh, the <laughs> she, she that we can't air, like I'll pretend that somebody like got killed on set and it was her fault or something like that. And then your one eyebrow's gonna raise like it just did. Can yeah. you do that voluntarily? Wait, which one was it? Go to the camera and give it a little shot. I look That's like I'm having good. a stroke right now. Uh, yeah, no, I think if I think if I had that ability, I would just do something like, "Oh my God, you, these people are dead," and she'll like have a, a like crazy breakdown, and then go, "You're on punk." Except there are no cameras; it's just me doing it. We want to get your so thoughts on something because your romance mm. with Lucy on the show—it's kind of racy, it's kind of Have romantic, and it's kind of wrong. Saying. So we want to give you scenarios, and you tell us whether you think they're racy, romantic, or just wrong. Okay. Okay. This is gonna get me in a lot of trouble, but here we go. Racy, romantic, or just wrong? Declaring your love for someone via Twitter. Stupid. I mean, uh, <laughs> none of the above. Well, I mean, is it real love? Because like, like, I'll say, oh, hey, like I love Lena Dunham or something. If it's I not L U V, it has to be L O V. Like that's like, real. Listen, I'm in love with you. Like I'm admitting my feelings and yeah. I'm sharing it with the world. Yeah. I think if it's if you're really like enamored with like I I really love. X, Y, and Z, or certain artists on Twitter, or something like, man, I love you. That's one thing. But if you're, if you like met somebody, or you have like a great date or something, and and she's thinking that it went really well, and that you're gonna call, and instead you tweet her, I think that's not even wrong. I think you, you're. It's a deal breaker. A deal breaker. I think you need to grow. Okay, racy, romantic, or just wrong? Dating your best friend's ex. Context. I mean, <laughs> because I think for like most of the time you're in hot water. I think it depends on how it ended. Like if if your friend said, "Hey, this girl's nuts," or "This guy's <laughs> nuts," and and he dumps that person, and then you go, "Oh yeah, well if he did the dumping, it's fair game." Okay. I've had a thing for that person for a while. Right. I'm gonna go after it. Yeah. And if he comes up, it's like, "Dude, what are you doing?" It's like, "What did you like? Is your stamp of property on her? Him somewhere? No." So, okay, racy, romantic, or just wrong? Showing up unannounced at someone's door, boombox in hand, full blast, and serenading them. Oh man, I guess, I mean, if they said stay away or I'm gonna call the cops for real, and you were like, no, no, this will get him back, you're a lunatic who's about to be arrested. I think for the most part, if you're like in a terrible fight or something, or something bad went down and you just need to remedy it, or maybe you missed their birthday or their anniversary for the fifth time, then I think Boombox making a fool in front of the neighbors prior to the arrival of the Popo. Totally charming. Totally charming. And last but not least, texting questionable pics of yourself to another. Oh, dumb. Because <laughs> it, it's gonna get it's gonna get found. Because now there's that whole etiquette, especially with the iPhone, of like somebody says, oh, hey, look at my dog that I just got. And you're handed the iPhone, and you go, oh my gosh, I'm thinking that there's gonna be another dog picture right after it. And you skip, and it's their, them, you know, showing their love for each other. <laughs> and you go, oh, well, I know you so much better now, you know? Or you forward it to yourself well, and send it to all their all friends. All of your friends and or your parents. 
<laughs> yeah, or theirs. Yeah. Or their, oh, oh, that's the worst. That's dark. Yeah. Well, thank you for clarifying all that. Of course. We know now what to do and what not to do and when I, in uncomfortable situations. I think I'm a moral pillar of, of truth. <laughs> you, that you are too. Now, yes. did I read that you said when you were when you were younger, you were a great liar or something? And that's how I you was. knew you should be an actor? No, I, I fibbed <laughs> quite a bit because it was just the commitment to just complete nonsense. Can you give me an example? I, I, I spent a lot of time outdoors and I was very, I don't know, maybe undiagnosed ADD, if that's a thing. I would be coming home from school and then would see like a bird or something. I would chase it into the forest and, and then I would come out and like my jacket would be gone and I would have no idea where it went. And then I would go home and my mom would say, listen, we literally just got you that jacket. Where is it? And I would say, there were, there were poachers for elephant ivory. They were around and, and, and I said, no, stop killing the elephants. And she would stop me right there and say, first off, it's Northern Virginia. There's n no elephants around and you're lying to me right now. I was like, no, no, no. no. I'm know. glad you went this direction because it right. seems to have worked out quite well for yeah, you. Yeah, actor and- See, for uh, a liar, you seem very frank. Well, that's good. <laughs> Wait, aren't those the best liars as opposed to what, the twitchy like old 50s villain? Like, haha, I'm lying. It's so great to have you in here. Come back Thank again so much. next yeah. season. Let's do it. Let's do it. Or I'm maybe come when you're- hang out here, the coolest place in the world. Are... Well, thanks. Or you'll be on The Walking Dead. Should we go out with a zombie? Let's go out with a zombie. Wait, how do I go? Is it just like- Ready? Oh, I think I got the wheeze down. That's good. <laughs> <laughs>